new efficiency records are established, while Toyota hybrid vehicles are lowering emissions and fuel consumption. However, exactly how do they perform their magic? Interested to know? Owing to Toyota's hybrid technology, drivers have benefited from increased fuel economy, lower operating costs, and unparalleled levels of comfort and refinement since 1997. Toyota now offers a wide variety of hybrid vehicles, including estate vehicles like the Corolla Hybrid Touring Sports, tiny hybrids like the Toyota Yaris Hybrid, and family-sized vehicles like the Toyota Prius, Corolla, and CHR. To put it simply, a car having two or more power sources is called a hybrid. The majority of hybrid road cars have an electric motor and a standard internal combustion engine, although there are several hybrid setups depending on how these two components interact. Toyota invented the full hybrid system, which employs a gasoline-powered combustion engine and an electric motor that runs on batteries. Both power plants can be utilized independently or in cooperation to operate the car. The system was first introduced in the Prius. Since the Prius was introduced in Japan in August 1997, it has sold more than 15 million units, making it the most popular hybrid system in the world. There are two main types of hybrid vehicles, series and parallel. The primary power source of a parallel hybrid is a conventional combustion engine, with extra power coming from an electric motor positioned in between the engine and gearbox. Despite being practical, the setup's power and electric range are limited by its small size. Conversely, series hybrids use the combustion engine just as a generator and only an electric motor to move. Although they are novel, series hybrids are less popular because of their inefficiency when the battery runs out. Have you ever wondered how hybrid vehicles operate? Six essential parts make up Toyota's hybrid drive system that are an electric motor, an electric generator, a power management unit, a gasoline engine, and a power splitter with a unique gearbox. This cutting-edge system smoothly transitions between engine and electric power according to different driving situations for maximum performance and efficiency. In fact, it skillfully blends the power from both sources to provide real synergy. When traffic is slow, the electric motor takes over to provide emission-free travel. The gasoline engine uses the generator to charge the battery. Additionally, by automatically turning off the engine when it is stopped and starting it again when necessary, the technology saves energy and reduces chemicals. Toyota hybrid cars don't require an external power source because the technology continuously charges the battery. Toyota also provides hydrogen fuel cell vehicles for longer electric driving and plug-in hybrids with a range of more than 30 miles on electricity alone. The hybrid system of Toyota has two methods to charge the battery. To start, the generator is powered by a gasoline engine which charges the battery. Second, instead of losing energy as heat or noise when braking or decelerating, regenerative braking recovers that energy and returns it to the battery. By reusing energy to run the electric motor, this improves the car's overall efficiency and works particularly well in stop-start traffic. A plug-in hybrid vehicle system PHEV, such as the Prius plug-in has an extended electric range up to 30 miles when the onboard battery is charged at home using a main supply or at designated charging stations along the way. Hybrid cars have become quite the buzz lately. Ever wondered how long their batteries actually last? Toyota hybrid cars come with long-lasting, corrosion-resistant batteries that are covered by a standard 5-mile or 100,000-mile guarantee that may be extended to 15 years with unlimited usage. These large units are capable of storing electricity high enough to run the car without a gasoline engine. Although there is a small environmental impact associated with the production, driving a hybrid car offers many advantages. These batteries can be recycled by Toyota and used again for stationary energy storage or remanufactured. With the goal of 100% recovery, more than 90% of hybrid batteries have already been recovered. A key difference is between hybrid and non-hybrid Toyotas become apparent. First off, because hybrid Toyotas have cutting-edge technology built for economy, they offer significant fuel savings over the course of ownership. Customers that care about the environment and want to cut back on long-term operating costs will find this to be appealing because it results in lower fuel costs and a less environmental effect. Second, although hybrid vehicles often cost more upfront than non-hybrid vehicles, these differences may eventually be made up by fuel savings. It's important to take ownership costs into account in addition to purchase price. Thirdly, prospective customers may experience higher wait periods for hybrid Toyotas than for non-hybrid counterparts due to the growing demand and popularity for hybrid vehicles. This increased demand is a clear indication of consumers' rising desire for cars with lower emissions and better fuel economy. That's impressive. So, what makes someone choose between a hybrid and a regular Toyota? Furthermore, the standards and maintenance schedules for Toyotas with and without hybrid technology are remarkably similar. 
This implies that you should anticipate comparable levels of performance, dependability, and ease of maintenance whether you choose a hybrid or non-hybrid model. These variations highlight the special advantages and factors to take into account when deciding between a hybrid and non-hybrid model. Your choice between a hybrid and a non-hybrid Toyota should ultimately be based on your priorities, including availability, fuel economy, initial cost, and environmental factors. Because each option has a unique set of benefits, it is critical to consider these considerations in light of your own requirements and preferences. For your car to remain safe and in good condition, Toyota suggests routine maintenance, whether you drive a gas or a hybrid model. Important components include wear and tear from things like brake and tire use. Because hybrid Toyotas generate less heat from friction, these parts usually need to be replaced less frequently. Component wear is largely influenced by heat, and hybrid cars build greatly less heat than gas-powered cars do. Durability must be a big factor for buyers. How important is it when picking out a new ride? For example, hybrid brakes, tires, and engines experience reduced wear and tear, leading to longer-lasting components. Indeed, it's not unusual to see hybrid cars with their original brakes still in place even after a significant amount of miles. To further give owners peace of mind, Toyota provides a full warranty on hybrid batteries. Hybrid cars may provide outstanding longevity and dependability with the right care. Similar regular maintenance intervals, usually including service milestones such as the first, second, and third services, are observed by both hybrid and non-hybrid Toyota vehicles. Still, there are small differences that are important to note. For example, a Toyota RAV4 hybrid may require more maintenance than its non-hybrid counterpart when comparing mileage, say, between 48,000 and 96,000 km. Propeller shaft bolts may need to be tightened, while this is not a requirement for the hybrid counterpart. Additionally, certain parts of hybrids, like the air filter that cools the hybrid battery in the RAV4 hybrid, may occasionally need to be replaced if they become unclean. Overall maintenance needs for Toyotas, hybrid and non-hybrid remain very similar despite these differences. Toyota hybrids are notable for the smaller gas tanks, which lead to a lower fuel consumption when compared to non-hybrid vehicles. Because of this design decision, hybrid vehicles are a very attractive option for drivers who want to reduce their environmental effect and increase fuel efficiency at the gas pump. And how does a hybrid engine differ from a standard one? Indeed, the Atkinson cycle, a modified four-stroke cycle that is more efficient and generates less heat than the traditional auto cycle, powers the internal combustion engine in a Toyota hybrid. This engine avoids the conventional practice of injecting more fuel to lower combustion temperatures and prevent catalytic converter overheating by using recycled exhaust gases to cool the combustion chamber. Toyota has a more dependable and fuel-efficient option. Therefore, don't limit your consideration of a hybrid to the initial cost difference with gas-powered cars. Consider your driving style and the potential annual savings on wear and tear maintenance expenses. Hybrids could save money over time and be dependable since they suffer less heat-related damage on metal and rubber parts. Therefore, keep in mind the advantages of less heat generation and the possibility of cheaper maintenance expenses with a hybrid while making your choice. In the end, even though the initial cost of maintenance for Toyota hybrid cars may appear expensive, it's crucial to take the future costs into account. Because they produce less heat than gas-powered vehicles, hybrids can actually require less maintenance overall because they wear down parts like tires and brakes less frequently. Choosing a Toyota hybrid could end as being a wise and cost-effective choice in the long term when taking into account the possible savings over time and the environmental benefits of hybrid technology. Could the initial price difference be balanced by the possible long-term savings and environmental benefits? Tell us what you think. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more informative articles about hybrid cars and eco-friendly driving techniques if you found this video useful. Together, let's make the transition to a greener future.